Rogue, they've gone much more towards the scaling aspect. Ezreal and Court. Woo! Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, they they oh, the scaling. Have the early game and Rogue are like, nah! Pantheon! Uh, I think that it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't think they need to snowball. I think that. I hear some Arden shouting on the screen. Maxwell goes in for the flash jump kick. Is fighting onto it though. There's the stand United trying to get Maxwell down before the Gorilla can join. They take him out. And Misfits took the initiative, but Rogue take the kill. Here's the unstoppable onslaught. Soaz joining the fight. Sanko still has the flash. Soaz. Where they have to rely on scaling more. Oh, hang on. We have another gank at top lane. The Baker's coming for a party here in the top lane. Pull back with the disdain. Soaz underneath the tower, but pulled in with the fear beyond death. And Rogue get another kill. It's Pantheon making this for an objective, and I don't think Rogue will be able to get a tower. So the goal gap will close a little bit. But you want so to have fun. proactive Shen ultimate. Ooh, uh, this is dangerous. And Maxwell jumps in. Sanko's coming in from the side as well. Kickers actually has a lot of damage down to Maxwell. You can see the Stand United comes in. Gorilla flashes over with the taunt. Didn't actually connect onto Kickers. Kickers running away, but the chase will come in and Forbidden secures the kill. Those objectives so, in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. It gives you so much of a bonus in terms of damage. And they will secure it. First dragon of the game for them. Go pretty much even between the two teams now. Targets when you're playing that, uh, that champion. Finn flashed away towards this bottom side. Max was still just getting the damage in. Forbiven's on his way as well. It looks like Rogue being caught out in the side lane once again. Finn trying to do what he can, but Forbiven gets the kill. Grand Skyfall comes in in the top lane. His kick is, is on the chase. Jumps forward. Flash W. Hunt Summer flashes away. Teleport comes in from Soage. For Misfits to find. Then Rogue tried to make a cross map play towards the top side of the map. You know, hey, if you're going to get a kill, then we're going to try and trade it for a tower. This first completed item. I think we've seen that. You know, they picked up a couple of kills. They're being a little bit more proactive on the map. Vander jumps in in the mid lane. Maxwell here with a flank. Kicks him back. He goes straight into the team. Flashes away, but can't get away from Forbiven, who has got all three kills for Misfits this game. Kickers jumps in. Catches Gorilla. Finn with the fear beyond death. will pull back to Shen. And it's a one for one trade in the mid lane. Really good kick from Maxwell. Yeah, really good vision, sir. We're on the boss side of the map right now. Misfits gonna make a cross map play towards the top. Yeah, Valkyrie from Senkos, but Dimitri just locked up underneath the tower, giving across to Forbidden once again. He's been involved in every single one of those kills, so yeah. while he has had a couple of misplays, while Rogue has been able to counter gank some of the things you see right now, Forbidden pushing in top, all of the control wards are towards the top side of the map, and this will allow him to secure another and tower. Today. TP used by Febben, trying to catch out for Bivin. There's the blast gun as well, but he'll use it to get to safety. Vanderpoint's the pressure fisher. He just jumps across the wall as well. Hans Sama comes in from the side with the culling, just trying to dissuade Rogue from going for the engage, but they get onto Gorilla. Dodges away. Shenton across the wall. Kick is looking for the chase. Pulled back all the way into the meat grinder as Finn gets the kill. And now the Baron on the cards for Rogue if they want it. Instead, looks like they're going to try and get mid priority. Now Rogue uh, were aiming to kill Febben. Get that shut down. Put Rise behind. Now they're looking for another fight in mid. All out so as he's forced to flash away. Lots of damage going on to Kickers as well, but Hiku doing a lot of heads up play from Kickers just to make sure that they can pull Gorilla back. Here's the ultimate coming up behind the tower, forcing away Hans Summer. Finn on the chase there. The Valkyrie comes out as well. The package locks up Hans Summer and Rogue dive between the towers to get the kill. That's one thing we haven't talked about, but has to be respected with Pantheon. When you're setting up around a tower, you just ulti behind it and it immediately forces the opposition to back because they don't want to take that damage. It scales really well with AD, and then the follow-up from both the Urgot on the Braum is really solid, and now they have their eyes set on Maxwell. The Baron is alive, and he's not going to get away. Yeah, Maxwell has to try and dodge away from Vanda, but Vanda gets the final punch on the front line for Biven standing on a war. Baron down to 8,000 HP. Rogue, so close, you feel, to uh, a victory in this game. If they can take down this Baron, they're, they're, they're going to get it. Misfits give it up. Rogue still have quite a way to go, but they are looking very, very wow. strong. Rogue is really, really strong, like the Righteous Glory. We talked about it as well. The Panther Ultimate, here it is again. Gets in behind the tower, and once again, it's Hans Summer who's isolated. Rogue pushing in with the Baron, but already a 2,000 gold advantage taken off it, and Misfits have to find a way to react. They have to stop Rogue, because otherwise their inhibitor is just going to fall. I think it's just going to fall, Medic. They tried to split push with Febivan, but right now Rogue is too strong. The Misfits can't split up the map. They have to group and Rogue want that position. Senkux level 16, they found another pick. So has caught out, locked up with a concussive blows. He's dead. And now it's a 5v3. Rogue looking for the win. It would be their first win of the LEC. And what a team to take it against as well. This They're is onto such... the Nexus Towers. This is huge for Rogue. They're onto it, Medic. This could be it. First Nexus Tower down. Maxwell backups trying to bend. Here and Summer up in three seconds as well. But already Rogue have locked out. Gorilla Forbidden just can't do anything. And Rogue come a knocking with the Pantheon pick. Rogue take their first win of the LEC. Joy on the faces of this Rogue squad, relief on the face of Senkux as they beat Misfit in 27 minutes.
What a performance! And you have to look at some of the substitutions as well, the new additions to the team. Banda had a great game. Finn on the Urgot in the top lane really kept Soaz pinned back on that Ooh. side. But I think what was so great about this comp from Rogue is that they didn't need to force any plays. They could just sit there, they could farm, they could they could be patient, they could take their time. And like you were just keeping your eyes on Kikis to be the playmaker, the proactive guy, which is what he has been over the last few weeks, especially when you look at yesterday. And then today, he comes in on the Pantheon. He's involved in the vast majority of the kills. 2, 1, and 6 was his scoreline. They found 9 kills overall. This guy was very active. So he didn't snowball the early game in their favor, but that didn't matter. The moment he had his ultimate up, he was looking for plays. He got a lot of the early towers for the team. And overall, Rogue had a very solid game. Incredibly good game from Rogue, and it does actually...